In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create your internet safety page in case you were not able to attend class and see what we did. So I've already created a page titled Internet Safety on my class website, and I'm just going to start filling in some of the required elements. So I'm starting off with an introduction or an explanation of internet safety. And I've already written the text, but this is basically just going to be an overview. So I'm going to copy this in really quickly. Uh, an overview of what internet safety is, why we need to be aware of it, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So that's the first requirement, just an overview. I'm going to make sure that my text is nice and clean and good looking. There, so I'm just basically saying because I use technology in my class, I'm concerned about um, internet safety for the children in my class. So um, here are some of the issues, and uh, but I also want to make sure that it make it clear that it's a valuable tool that I want the students to use. So we're going to make sure that we teach some of these issues. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is provide my students with some guidelines, my students and their parents, uh, with some guidelines for staying safe online. So I went out and did some web searching, found some really good guidelines that I like. You can pull them from netsmarts.org, which is the site we explored in class, or you can grab them from another website after doing some searching yourself. So I found some that I really like. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these in. And I've got a link here to my source from where I got these so that I can give credit where it's due. All right. Now, once again, I'm going to just double check my font. I want to make sure that I'm being consistent throughout my website. Uh, you can see that it's not all the same here because I was pulling stuff from different sources. So I'm going to make it all the same size. I'm going to get rid of some extra spaces that are in here. Bold this heading here. And I could make this look even nicer by using a text box here, which is another option. All right, so there are my internet safety guidelines. I could go through also and make this a bulleted list if I so chose. So you're welcome to play with the formatting and do anything you want as far as the appearance of this site. All right, the next thing that I'm doing is giving my students the text of an internet safety pledge. Now I pulled this internet safety pledge directly from NetSmarts. This is their recommended pledge for the elementary students. Um, and I feel like it covers some of the, the major issues that they need to be aware of, so I went ahead and left that intact. That is located on NetSmarts. If you just go to their website and search for pledges, you should be able to find that. And I want to make sure that this link is active in case the parents want to go to it. Alright, so I've got my guidelines and I've got my pledge. Let me bold this so I can be consistent across. And then in class we also went through and created some little Vokies. So I'm going to add my little Vokey here. And I'm just going to create a link to that. There will be another tutorial on how to do that. So I'm just showing you how to put the page together. So here's my little link I've got to grab for her. Paste that in and I'll open that in a new window. All right. I need to now add a couple of annotated links. I want to give make sure that my uh, parents have some resources to go to. So I'm giving them the link to NetSmarts Kids and NetSmarts for Parents, just so that they have those. And I want to make sure that those are active links as well, so I'll go back through and do those in a bit. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to put in a link to some lesson plans that I'll be using to teach internet safety this year. So on our class website, I've got some resources. There's a new link that says resources listed that uh, students can use or that you can use to find some of these materials. So I'm going to link this up to the Digital Literacy Tour by Google, and then my page will be, 